Hello students let us discuss the general characteristics of s p d and f block elements in the modern periodic table the long form of periodic table which we have already discussed in the previous video in that we have discussed that it is divided into four blocks that is s block p block d block and f block so let us find out what are the different characteristic features of these elements first let us talk about s block element the first and second group elements belong to s block elements which include lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium these are the s block elements since in these element the last electrons enters the s orbital of their outermost energy level therefore these elements belong to s block elements it consists of two group that is a first group and second group so let us discuss its general characteristic features these elements are usually soft metals like uh, the example sodium metals are soft metals which can be easily cut with the help of sharp edge tool like knife here some pictures of uh, metals belonging to the first group uh, are given like this is the picture for lithium metal sodium potassium rubidium francium so these are the elements belonging to the first group these are the elements belonging to the second group like beryllium magnesium magnesium ribbon which you are familiar last year in the laboratory you have seen magnesium ribbon this is calcium strontium barium radium so these are the elements belonging to the second group in the s block in the modern periodic table so what we have discussed that s block elements are usually soft metals therefore they can be easily cut like sodium metal can be easily cut with the help of knife second property they have usually low melting point and boiling point next property low ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy is the energy required to remove the electron from the outermost shell that will be going to discuss in the further videos in the detail next they are usually very reactive because of this in the nature they will not found in a isolated form they are usually found in the combined state because of this reason of high reactivity they never found in the pure in state in the nature next property the first group elements in the s block are called as alkali metal second group are called as alkaline earth metal they have high tendency to lose the electron so when it lose one electron in the case of alkali metal they form one positive charge that ion is called as one positive charged ion and in the case of alkaline earth metal there are two electron in the outermost shell therefore they lose two electron and form two positive charged ion example like sodium sodium lose one positive charge to form sorry it lose one electron to form one positive charge that is the example in the case of first group magnesium that is the element belonging to the second group it lose two electrons to form two positive charge that means they have high tendency to lose the electron to form positive charged ions that is the first group element form that is one positive charge and the second group element form 
two positive charged ions. So this is all about the important general properties of a S block element. In detail we will be going to learn these properties in the chapter S block element. Let us discuss the P block elements. P block element is found in the periodic table on the extreme right hand side. It starts from the group 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have, can say that uh, the P block elements start from the 13 group to 18 group. So let us discuss these uh, elements, their general characteristic. They are usually metals and also non-metals. Non-metals are also found in the P block like uh, we are familiar with oxygen, nitrogen. These are the non-metals which are familiar to you. So in the P block elements there are metals and as well as non-metals are also found in the P block elements. Ionization enthalpy is greater than the S block elements. So as we have discussed in S block element they have low ionization enthalpy but in the P block elements when you compare with the S block element, they have greater ionization enthalpy. They usually form covalent compounds. That also we will be going to discuss in detail in the P block element chapter. Group 16th elements are called, uh, called as the calcogens. Group 16 that is the oxygen family. Oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium polonium these are called as commonly calcogens and the group 17 are usually called as halogens example fluorine chlorine bromine iodine these are the examples of halogen which is in the group 17 and the group 18 elements which are called as noble gases they have completely filled orbitals they have filled orbitals so we can say that they have their octet is complete so these elements are stable in nature therefore they exist in the monoatomic form their examples are neon argon krypton xenon radon and one helium is also belong to this group that is group 18 noble gases so these are the properties related to the P block elements. One more property. It show more than one oxidation state. More than one oxidation state means it can develop different oxidation state like oxygen can develop two negative charge. It can also develop one negative charge. So similarly when we talk about the elements in the P block they can form variable oxidation state. That means more than one oxidation state is found in the P block elements. So that is all about the general characteristic features of P block elements. In detail we will be going to learn these properties in the chapter P block element. So we have learnt about S block elements and P block element. S block element and P block element together called as representative elements or we can call it as main group elements so most of the common elements are belonging to s and p block element so these are called as main group elements next d block elements d block element it in the periodic table d block elements found in between the S and P block we can find out the D block is present that is in between the S and P block there is a D block. D block elements in this the filling of electron takes place in the D orbital so they are called as D block elements. Let us discuss its property before that we can say that 
there are series like 3d series in which the filling of electron takes place in 3d that elements comes in the 3d series then 4d series 5d series 6d series so there are four series in the d block elements its properties are they are metals they have high melting point and boiling point they are usually colored compounds they can form usually colored compounds like the examples these are the reagents which is found in the laboratory in which you can find out there is iron to sulfate we have copper sulfate solution nickel sulfate cobalt chloride so these all are the solutions colored solutions which is familiar in the case of laboratory reagent which is found in the laboratory so these are usually colored in nature so that means d block elements most of are forming colored compounds next they are mostly paramagnetic what do you mean by paramagnetic the presence of unpaired electron in the electronic configuration that is called as relate to the paramagnetic so they are usually paramagnetic they are usually used as a catalyst like nickel platinum palladium these are the important catalyst which is used in the different chemical reactions catalyst are the substance which accelerate the rate of the reaction so usually the catalyst belong to the d block elements they have several oxidation state in the case of p block also we have discussed they have different oxidation state similarly d block elements also have different oxidation state let us take one example iron iron can have two positive charge and also iron can have plus 3 oxidation state similarly the copper can have one positive charge copper can also have two positive charge so a particular one can give rise to more than one oxidation state so we can say that they have variable oxidation state or several oxidation state these elements are also called as transition elements so these are the properties of d block element next we'll discuss about f block elements f block elements are usually heavy metals they have high melting point and boiling point they have variable oxidation state as just we have discussed for the case of p block and d block similarly it also have variable oxidation state they can also form colored ions here two series are there if the filling of electron takes place in the 4f orbital then that series is called as 4f series these are actually called as lanthanoids and when the filling of electron takes place in the 5f orbital then that series is called as 5f series and the elements are called as actinoids here actinoids are radioactive in nature therefore the study of actinoids are quite difficult because of the radioactive nature of these element since actinoids are radioactive in nature many of the actinide elements have been made only in nanogram quantities or even by nuclear reactions and their chemistry is not fully studied because of these elements because of its radioactive nature these elements are not fully studied next point the elements after uranium is called as trans uranium elements so these are the properties of f block elements that we have discussed here so in this video we discussed about the properties of s block d block p block and f block element these are the general properties of these elements in detail we'll be going to discuss these properties in a particular chapter like s and p block chapter is there in plus 1 textbook and 
D and F block elements and the P block element is there in plus 2 textbook. So, in the detail we will be going to discuss these properties in that particular chapter. So, this is all about this video. Have a nice day.